In Suspiria, Daria Argento sends his protagonist Susie Banyan on a horrifying and magical adventure. Susie is a ballet student from New York who comes to Freiburg, Germany to visit the prestigious Tanzakademie where pure horror awaits. Although our story takes place in Freiburg, Argento used locations in Munich. Today we reveal the horrors of Munich's Nazi past, which Argento intertwined with the spurious atmosphere of the occult through an exquisite choice in locale. Yes, Susie Banyan, our new student. Oh, yes. Susie lands in Germany at the bright red airport München Riem. It was designed by one of Nazi Germany's most important architects, Ernst Sagebiel, and opened in the year 1939. A diabolical wind seeks its way through the airport doors. But Susie needs to get to the Tanz Academy and leaves the safety of the airport halls. Overwhelmed by the rain, she runs across to the cab stand where she finally manages to get a cab and leaves the airport, which was in use until 1992. Later on, a trade fair center and a shopping mall were built upon the very concrete Susie entered Suspiria's world. Moin! Uh, Escher What? Escher What? While there is no Escherstraße in Munich, Mauritz Cornelis Escher's name hints at the impossible architecture that is portrayed in his work, as well as in Suspiria. When Escher lived in Rome, he fled from the growing fascist movement and moved to Belgium, from where he subsequently fled from the German Nazis to the Netherlands. Susie's cab passes the weir at the Maximiliansbrücke before revealing a poster of an exhibition of Oskar Kokoschka's work. The Austrian artist was considered the most degenerate of the degenerate artists by the Nazis. Hitler considered him as the foremost enemy of the arts. Our protagonist passes by the beautiful Schwarzwald, which is portrayed as a rather uncomfortable and creepy place. It's no surprise then that the Führer himself had his bunker hidden in the Schwarzwald. Susie looks into the deep forest as if she knows this historical fact. While she continues her cab ride, the first victim arrives at Pat's apartment in the Burgstraße 4. This impressive building, with several shops and a hair salon inside, can be found at the center of Munich. The inscription on the wall tells us of the building's destruction in 1944, which was rebuilt by Nazi architects Hermann Kasper, a protégé of Hitler and Albert Speer, and Roderich Fick, whose last name is the German word for fuck. Even after World War II, their careers continued to flourish. They even restored the famous Hofbräuhaus. This beer hall, the most famous in Germany, is where Adolf Hitler held his first speech in 1918. And two years later, in the 1920s, the Nazi Party, or Nationalsozialistische Deutsche Arbeiterpartei, was founded there. The Hofbräuhaus is still the place to go for people from all over the world to get a good Bavarian beer. But back to Susie. She finally arrives at the Tanzakademie. Argento was inspired by the building called Das Haus zum Walfisch or House to the Whale he saw at the Franziskanerstraße in Freiburg and which is used by the Sparkasse, a credit institution under public law since 1909. It was destroyed by the British aerial bombings called Operation Tigerfish in 1944 and rebuilt after the war. Argento did not use the building itself, but rebuilt it for interior filming in a studio in Rome. 
Another important location is the Königsplatz, the King's Square. Architecturally based on the Acropolis in Athens, Nazi architect Paul Ludwig Trost was unhappy with all the grass and trees in this public open space. He reconstructed it and had the Führerbau and the administration buildings of the Nazi party built nearby. Who's there? 50,000 people watched the book burnings by the Nazis here in 1933. The Führer's building now houses the Hochschule für Musik und Theater München. It is rumored that Hitler, who moved into a flat in the Tierstraße 41 in 1920, used to frequent the Müllersches Volksbad quite often, as his flat had no bathroom. We continue our search for answers with Susie and meet Udo Kier in front of the BMW headquarters. Not much has changed since then, but the company itself took its part in the Second World War by supplying motorcycles, cars and aircraft engines for the war. These machineries were built with the help of thousands of inmates from the concentration camps in Dachau and Allach. Argento makes full use of the location here through extreme changes in perspective and zooms. The woman becomes queen if her magic is a hundred times more powerful than the rest of the coven, which is like a serpent. Its strength rests with its leader, that is, with its head. A coven deprived of its leader is like a headless cobra, harmless. Skepticism is the natural reaction of people nowadays, but magic is ever-present. In other words, quandum ubique, quandum semper, quandum ad omnibus, creditor est. Which means that magic is everywhere and all over the world. It's a recognized fact, always. He shows us that magic is everywhere and evil is too. <laughs> 